So what kind of person Peter was? He loved the Lord many times, but then he also stumbled many times. Like us, right? We love the Lord many times, but then we also deny the Lord in through many other wrong things that we do many times. He was high on faith when Jesus was around. He was telling, you are the Christ, the Son of God. I will never deny you. Right? He was high on faith. But then when Jesus was not there, he was high on fear. Right? Just, just like us. Right? Like many times, like we are in the church, in the presence of God, we are high on faith. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once we go out, I am here. Oh, what's happening out here? Right? So, just like us. Right? Like when uh, Peter stumbled, like the way that we also stumbled. And, and when and Peter understood that he denied the Lord and a, and a condemnation was making him to feel bitter and he wept. Right? So, the same way we also feel. Right? When we make a mistake, we, we cry and if you cry, right? It's crying is good, right? Whenever we do wrong, we have to cry. We have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. So, the same thing that we also do, Peter also went through. So, to such a person like Peter, if Jesus can reconfirm the love, Jesus can reconfirm the love even to us. Jesus interceded for Peter, even now Jesus is interceding for the church, right? So that our faith will not fail. Yeah. So, understand that God is love. Right? God doesn't want us to be destroyed. The enemy is the one who kills, steals and destroys. But God wants to give us life, life in abundance. Understand that. First of all, if you are not able to understand the, the love that God is displaying in many ways in our life and even when we are uh, having fellowship with, with the people of God and when we are coming to the church, God shows that love. right? And if we are not able to get that love, what will happen is whenever we do something wrong, we will always feel that we will not be accepted into God's presence again. After this, life of Peter changed dramatically and drastically, upside down. And Jesus said that, I will send you the promise of the Father, which is the Spirit of God. Right? Once the Spirit of God took over the action, we took the baton from Jesus. Now I'll take over. Right? I'm going to take care of all these people. When the Spirit of God came upon the upper room mightily and fell upon the one body disciples, they all were radically transformed. Right? That's the, that's the life that God wanted us to have. Right? I will put my Spirit in you. Right? I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And, and you then you will do. Right? Then when you see my love in action, then you will do great things. Right? So Jesus asked the Peter, Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Right? In fact, like if you go to the root word that love me, three times he's asking, it he started from a higher love, right? Like a love that is between uh, a, a relationship that we have with God. Right? And then he reduced that love. The love term, if you go and look in Greek. It's not the same word, right? In English, everything is love. Okay. But in Greek, it was different. And he came to the level of, at least you love me like a friend. You cannot, probably you are not able to love me like the way that, that God loves his children and I cannot expect the love like you loving that kind of love back to me. At least, let's come to a level of human beings. You love me like that, right? And then, now God wanted to ensure, Jesus wanted to ensure that his faith does not fail, his love does not fail by pouring out his spirit. Again, he's taking action. See, these disciples could have quickly fallen away with so much opposition coming upon them. It's not small. The religious system is against them. The political system is against them. These are all fishermen. What do you do? But then you can see that the power of God, the love of God was poured out on them so much that they were able to stand strong, mighty after that. That's why the Spirit of God is given to everyone who accepts Jesus Christ. Without the Spirit of God, I will write and give, we will not be able to stand for Christ. 